Today we're checking out Biomutant on the Steam Deck OLED. How well does it run and is it worth your time? I've spent a few hours testing different performance modes, battery life and gameplay view. And let's break it down and find out if this post-apocalyptic raccoon adventure deserves a spot in your handheld library or if you should miss this one. Now let's start with the good news. Biomutant runs somewhat well on the Steam Deck as long as you keep your expectations in check. The sweet spot I found was a mix of high and medium settings, but unfortunately you have to lock the game to 30 FPS to achieve stability. Now what is actually Biomutant? It's an open world action role playing game developed by the Swedish studio Experiment 101 and the game was initially released in 2021 for PS4 and Windows and later there were some enhanced versions and I think there was a Nintendo Switch port uh, in 2024. So it's a pretty old game at this point and because it's this old it's kind of surprising that it doesn't run better but the game doesn't actually have any upscaling options there's only a dynamic resolution option uh, but uh, we'll check all that later. The game is set in a post-apocalyptic world inhabited by mutated animals. Now Biomutant offers a unique blend of martial arts combat, shooting and mutant abilities and you can control a customizable creature resembling a raccoon cat, mouse hybrid, whatever you want to call it, and you can modify its physical attributes which directly influence gameplay stats like strength, agility and intellect. Now the narrative centers around the tree of life which is being poisoned by a mysterious oil and you have to decide whether to save the tree or let it perish with choices affecting the game's outcome. Now on to performance, the sweet spot I found was a mix of high and medium settings unfortunately with dynamic resolution on and with a limit of 30 fps this combo will give you a very stable experience even during combat and weather effects and you can expect about four and a half hours of bodily life with this setup which is pretty solid for a 3d open world game however the actual performance is not great for a game that's more than four years old now i did try pushing for 45 fps and technically it is possible but uh, it's very inconsistent, even on the lowest settings performance will dip depending on time of day, weather, uh, especially fog or depending on the zone you're in. You'll see the frame rate bounce between 35 and 50, which honestly doesn't feel great for gameplay. Uh, and uh, with this mode battery life drops to about 3 hours and you feel instability unless you're mostly sticking to indoor or clear weather zone. Now if you're curious how far the deck can go, I tested the game and capped at the lowest possible settings. And FPS is very erratic, it jumps between 50 and 80 and this is with the dynamic resolution on and you can see a lot of ghosting, especially around the character's fur. Uh, it's never really stable at 60, it's chaotic and honestly not enjoyable due to the inconsistent feel. And battery life here takes a hit too, even when you're playing at around 50-60 FPS it will go down to about 2 hours and 30 minutes. Well, on the positive side, controls feel tight and responsive, there's no input lag or compatibility issues. The key mapping uh, feels pretty great uh, and uh, visually the game looks gorgeous on the OLED screen even on lower settings the vibrant environments, glowing mutants and lighting effects really pop but you can tell that it is kind of dated being 4 years old game. Now gameplay wise Biomutant doesn't start strong, the intro is pretty slow, it's overloaded with tutorials, lore dumps and systems and you spend more time in menus than actually fighting or exploring early on. If you're not hooked by the vibe or setting it can feel kind of dull at first, but if you push through the intro it opens up into a decent open world RPG, just don't expect the combat or story to be as deep uh, as the visuals suggest. Now by the way if you're enjoying these Steam Deck performance breakdowns, I've started a Steam group and curator page called Steamflow, I post all my reviews in a text form and the reviews are mostly centered around Steam Deck, then I post updates on which games are worth your time, you can find the links down in the description, it's a great way to stay in the loop and support the channel and I hope to see you there. Another settings I found that work best are the following. I've set texture quality to high, shadow quality to medium, post processing quality medium, effects quality and foliage density medium, anti-aliasing high and object detail high. And for the full detail and world draw distance just keep these on default. If you set them to max uh, you're not gonna have a great time, especially with the fur can be very very performance heavy. Now this will yield 30 FPS in most scenarios, even in combat, there might be some dips here and there to 28 FPS, especially during cutscenes, uh, but other than that it should be a pretty stable experience. So overall, in conclusion, Biomutant is absolutely playable on the Steam Deck. You do have to stick to a 30 FPS cap in my opinion with high to medium settings, 
but you get a smooth experience and a great battery life. If you set your expectations to lower than 60 FPS, if you make it past the first hours and the tutorials, I think you'll have a great time with this game. Uh, and that's gonna be it for this video. If you did find it helpful, please leave a like, consider subscribing for more Steam Deck content, hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And again, check out the Steam Flow Curator uh, and group pages if you want more Steam Deck insights. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.